In this video, let's look at a data consolidation example. Suppose a company has three subdivisions, subdivision A, B and C. Each subdivision has its own source of revenue, expenditure and income. You are working at the head office of this company and you are assigned the task to consolidate the income statement from all the three subdivisions and get a company-wide income statement. If you are facing a scenario like this, the data consolidate feature in Microsoft Excel will save a lot of your time. Let us look at an example. In this example, I have the income statements from the three subdivisions on three different worksheets. The format is identical for all the three subdivisions, but you will notice here that subdivision A has products A, B and C. Subdivision B has products B, D and E. And subdivision C has products A, F and G. That means my column labels are same here for all the three worksheets but my row labels are different and overlapping. Now to consolidate this data on a single worksheet, I will create a new worksheet here. Then I will click on the data tab. Then I will click on the consolidate option in the data tools group. Then I will select the type of function here. I will select sum here for this example. Then I have to give the reference to my data sources. I will click on this arrow here. Then click on division A and select the reference here then i will click on this arrow and click on add in the same way i will select the reference to subdivision b and subdivision c then i will check the three options here use labels in top row left column and i will also create links to the source data that means whenever I make a change to the source data, that change will be reflected in the destination. I will click on OK and you will see that the magic has just happened. The data from all the three worksheets has been combined into a single worksheet. In the consolidated worksheet, you will see that the products from all the three subdivisions have been listed here in this income statement. Here you have product A sales B, C, D, E, F and G. Then you have the total revenue listed here then you have overheads here then you have total overhead and then finally you have the net income from all the three subdivisions combined into a single income statement so this is how you can consolidate data in microsoft excel i hope this video was helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up keep supporting subscribe the channel thanks for watching